iOS 12 comes with a new app called Measure that will use your device's camera, accelerometer, and other sensors to measure the length of straight lines on a surface. With the Measure app open, as I approach this picture frame, it's going to recognize the rectangular surface with this yellow box. As the camera moves, it also senses the rectangle of the print within the frame for a second, but then comes back to the overall frame. To get the measurements for this frame, I just need to tap on the yellow box, and there's the length and width of the frame. The Measure app says it's 16 and a half inches wide and 20 and a half inches high. The actual measurements when taken with a tape measure are closer to 17 and 21 inches. So the Measure app isn't something you want to use for exact measurements, but it can be a really quick way to get approximate dimensions. Let's tap clear to start over, and now I'm going to measure the diagonal of the frame. This won't be done automatically. I'm going to find the top right corner with this dot on my display, and then tap the Add button below. That places a point in that location and begins the measurement. Move to the lower left corner, and I'll tap Add again to lock the diagonal, which comes to 26 inches. Tap on the 26 inch measurement here, and a panel pops up with the measurement in both inches and centimeters, along with a copy button. Tap on this, and then I could then paste this number into a note, an email, or any other document. Tap on the shutter button here in the lower right to take a screenshot of the current measurement. Now let's try with another object. I'm going to measure the width of this shelf by adding a point at the very left edge, and then over on the right edge. Notice though that the entire object doesn't need to be in the frame at first to get a measurement. That gives me 3 feet 4 inches, which is about an inch off of the true measurement. In my first test of this, when I wasn't recording, the measure app got this spot on at 3 feet 5 inches. So results are going to vary slightly. In this last example, notice I'm using the Measure app in landscape orientation. We're outside measuring this concrete pad, and I want to get all four sides. So I'm going to start with a point at the top left, then move down and tap Add to set that first line. I then want to tap Add again on that same point to start the next line. The iPhone will snap to a point that's already there, sort of magnetically, so it's easy to locate. And if you ever place a point in the wrong location, there's an undo button here in the lower left. I'll add that next line, tap, and then tap again to start another line. And do the same thing one more time up here. Notice how the dot will snap back to the last point that I added. One more tap on the Add button, and I have all four sides. If I want, I could then add the diagonal measurement here too. This is super quick because the point snaps to each corner. Next, I'll take a screenshot to save the measurements. So that's the new Measure app, which also now contains the level, which used to be included in the Compass app. The Compass app remains, but the level has moved into the Measure app.